And by the time I like kind of figure out what's going on, I see little Hercules, you know, 15 pounds. He's scared, he's running at me. And all of a sudden I just see this. He just jumps and throws himself at me while I'm on the ground. Good morning, everyone. and Welcome back to the channel. Today we're up a little bit earlier because I don't know if you can hear that in the background. We're trying to beat a little bit of weather. We have some thunder rolling. So it should, it should start here in the next, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. So we're trying to get this done beforehand. And what we're doing today is we're moving our new Angus Charlet crosses out to pasture. Now yesterday we brought our five longhorns to into the corrals and into our one permanent paddock to come meet them. They're up there just hanging out right now. Now what we want to do is we're going to open this gate and we're going to take them all the way down probably 700 feet to there now will they move normally like the longhorns do every day i don't know are they fully trained to electric yet i think so we did some stuff in there both of them got shocked more than once you know so i think we're gonna be okay but you never know you never know with these things my experience with the first uh first time moving cows out to pasture the last two times not so great and there's a lot of thunder coming so i want to speed this up a little bit ryan so what we're going to do is we have our lane here that's completely set up and we run the electric fence off of it towards the road that way and towards the end of the property that way so we're going to try and drive them down the lane well not drive them have them follow us because that's just easier and that is some serious thunder okay so we're gonna try and get them to follow us down the lane and enter the new paddock We'll see how it goes. Last couple times, new cows, not so hot. But now that we have five, they might just, you know, stay in the herd and come on down. So, let's see. Well, here goes nothing. Hey, cow cows. Hey, cow cow cows. Hey, cows. Come on, cows, come on. Come on, cows. Come on, cow cows. Come on, cows. Come on, cow cows. Come on. Come on, cows. Come on, cow cows. Okay, the long ones are starting to move. Come on, new ones. Come on, cows. Come on, cow cows. They're not coming. Come on, cows. Oh, maybe they are. Come on, cow cows. Here we go. Come on, cows. Come on. Come on, cow cows. Come on. Come on, cows. Come on, cow cows. Here we go. Come on, cows. Come on, cow cows. Come on, Ellie. Lead them out. Come on, Ellie. You be the one to lead them out. Let's see. Come on, cows. Come on, cow cows. Come on. Let's see. Come on, cows. Here's Ellie and Rose. Come on, cow cows. Come on, cows. This is so much fun. It's fun if it works. Come on, cows. Come on, cow cows. Come on, cows. Come on, Ellie. Ellie's gonna be the leader today. Usually not the leader, but we'll see. Come on, cows. Okay, here comes the two new ones. Just gonna let them do the thing. We'll deal with whatever happens, happens. Come on, cows. Come on, cow cows. Come on, cows. Come on, cow cows. See, here we go. Come on, cows. Come on, cow cows. See more of them out. Come on, cows. Come on, cow cows. Come on. Uh -oh, getting ahead of them. Let's see. Come on, cows. New ones are out. Good. New ones are out. Come on, cow cows. Let's see if they just fall. It'd be great. Come on, cows. They're younger than the than the, the longhorns, so they might look to them as like a, almost like a mom or. Whatever, big sister. Come on, cows. Come on, cow cows. Just my mom. Especially because Betty looks like their mom's because she's all white. So we'll see. Come on, cows. Come on, cow cows. Might work. I think it's gonna work. Don't jinx it, Ryan. Don't jinx it. Come on, cows. We're almost there. Eh, about three quarters of the way. Come on, cows. Come on, cow cows. Come on. Come on, cows. Come on, cow cows. Come on, cows. Come on, cow cows. Come on. Come on, cows. Come on, cow cows. Come on, cows. They're doing it. Uh oh, they're catching up to me. Come on, cows. Come on.
jump that wire in order to get her in. Come on, cows. Okay, come on. There we go. We're doing it. We are 100% doing it. Yes. Yes, yeah, see? Took this lane right here, this wire from this lane, wrapped it up on this pole. It's not electrified right now. Now we're going to go hook it back up, and we got the cows in. Come on. Come on. Mm -mm. Don't get shocked, don't get shocked, don't get shocked. Electrified. Perfect. We did it. We did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. Now it's a race against the clock to get their water filled up and uh, get back inside because there's some, this is some weather coming at us right now. Thunder, lightning, see lightning probably, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 miles away. So, you know, it's coming, but don't really want to be outside when it's above us. Why? Obvious reasons. Don't want to be at Ben Franklin. So, let's see if we can do this. So according to our weather app, rain is going to be starting in like four minutes. So, trying to get their water trough, this one and that one filled up and uh, let them at it and get back inside before, you know, I bet you if I pan this way, I'll catch a lightning bolt or something. It's getting close. Just want to get inside. Don't want to be out here for this. They have some cover over there with the trees. Yeah, oh, did you see it? Did you see it? It's coming. It's coming. So, hurry up and fill up and let's get back inside. It is starting to sprinkle and the lightning's getting closer. Come on, water. Just need to fill up the throat and the other thing and then we can go turn it off. I know, I know, I gotta get the automatic waterer set up. I just wanted to test the water line perfectly and make sure you know I don't come out here to a muddy mess. And here comes the rain. Come on, we're almost there. We are almost there. Eh, I could probably come back out later and fill it up when I don't have the cameras out. It's probably a good idea. It's probably what I'm actually gonna do because this is, yep, yeah, here it goes. Okay, well, we're gonna go back in. We'll fill up the other trough later. Um, little story about lightning, if you guys want a funny little story real quick. Back when Hercules and Harley were, uh, maybe two and a half, three months old, we were outside and, uh, it started raining just sim it was similar to the day to this, and, uh, we heard some thunder, heard some lightning, got Harley inside, you know, because two little fluff balls, they were probably only maybe, you know, 15 pounds, now they've times 10 in size, easily. Um, yeah, it's getting close. I got Harley inside and I was waiting for, I was trying to get Hercules inside as well. And as I'm walking back to Hercules, as I'm walking back to get Hercules, uh, there was a lightning strike probably no more than 125, 150 yards away. And man, I've never heard a more loud noise in my life. It knocked me on my butt, kind of disoriented me. It was just like, whoa, hang on. You know, kind of like a flashbang or something like that. And by the time I like kind of figure out what's going on, I see little Hercules, you know, 15 pounds. He's scared, he's running at me. And all of a sudden I just see this. He just jumps and throws himself at me while I'm on the ground. I'm like, okay, we're going inside, buddy. We're going inside. I was, I was surprised that he's not more, I, I would think that he might be scared of lightning and thunder after that, but now, no, nothing. He's cool, he's just, uh, I'm Hercules, I'm the biggest, baddest thing around. Nothing can touch me. So with that, I think we're gonna call it a, well, call it a morning here. I'll be back out and check the cows later. Make sure they're still all good inside. Hopefully the new ones stay inside, that'd be fantastic. And uh, yeah, hit that subscribe button down below, ring the notification bell, because thunder, eh, so you can get updates about the videos. Uh, hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and drop a comment if you like, alright? See you on the next one.